Hello there everyone, this is 5 Minutes Medicine and today we're gonna discuss epilepsy which is a chronic neurological condition caused by excessive neural activity and is characterized by symptoms including disruption in brain function and recurrent seizures. Epilepsy is fairly common worldwide with around 65 million existing patients and 4 million cases adding up each year and most of these cases come from developing countries. Though mostly, epilepsy is idiopathic. Major notable causes of this disease are genetics and head injuries. Brain pathologies like stroke and infection can also cause epilepsy and metabolic derangement due to substance abuse and allergies are also major cause of this disease. So before we jump into anything, let's review the normal mechanism of signal conduction in brain. With the onset of stimulus, sodium and calcium goes inside the neuron through the respective channels, causing depolarization. This depolarization travels through the length of the neuron and releases neurotransmitter into synapse, which acts as a signal for corresponding neuron. Since here we are concerned with epilepsy, we will consider only brain functioning. So, there are major two types of neurotransmitter, which are excitatory neurotransmitter, that is the glutamate, and the inhibitory neurotransmitter, that is gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA. In a healthy brain, we have systematic conduction of impulses, that is different group of neuron fire signals at different times. But due to variety of factors like infection, we see excessive neural activity, that is, the firing rate increases and the group of neurons all fire at the same time, creating the symptoms of epilepsy. This can happen due to increased depolarization, which is through increased sodium and calcium influx and decreased potassium efflux, or increased excitatory neurotransmitter function, or due to decreased inhibitory neurotransmitter function. Broadly speaking, the presentation of epilepsy can be because of two kinds of condition, one in which the specific part of brain is involved, and the other one in which a large portion is involved. Because of which, epilepsy has wide variety of symptoms, ranging from temporary loss of awareness to complications like severe jerking and body stiffening. Some other common symptoms are uncontrolled body movements, changes in senses, tingling, or complex symptoms like losing consciousness. Sometimes the condition begins in a specific part of brain or a focus, but then it progresses to a large part of brain involving the nearby area as well. This phenomenon of a focal seizure turning into a generalized condition is called paroxysmal depolarizing shift. Epilepsy is said to be diagnosed when the patient suffers from two or more unprovoked seizures which is primarily diagnosed by history taking and physical examination of the patient. Blood analysis can be done for provisional diagnosis and ruling out conditions like hypoglycemia etc. Radiological examinations like MRI and CT scan and electroencephalogram are used for confirmational as well as differential diagnosis. As for the management, the primary goal is to control the overstimulation of neuron, which could be done by increasing the inhibitory neurotransmitter action, that is the GABA action, which could be done by drugs like pregabalin, etc. Anti-anxiety drugs like diazepam can be used too. Drugs that control the rate of depolarization, like phenytoin, valproate, can be used and are drugs of choice in most conditions. Newer drugs like lamotrigine are mostly used in pregnant or older patient as they have negligible side effects in comparison to other drugs. So that's it for today. If you liked the video and found it helpful as well as informative, please help the channel to grow by liking, sharing and subscribing it. Thank you. See you until next time.